remember you are, Daisy. <laughs> me? It must be wonderful being married to a bum like your Onslow. <laughs> it's bad luck not to buy something from a gypsy. Bad luck? When we live like this, how can you be scared of bad luck? <laughs> What do you fancy in the three o'clock? Rainbow Lady. <laughs> Onslow, I'm trying to tell you, your wife is in love with a 17-year-old. That's disgusting, that is. <laughs> Interrupting a bloke's prime-time viewing. <laughs> Is there any beer? You're not having any beer till after the christening. It's supposed to be a celebration, not a famine. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if you weren't so attractive to women. <laughs> That'll fade in time. <laughs> you want what? You want Onslow to be a roundhead? <laughs> Onslow? Bought Sherry? I had to sneak it out under my vest. <laughs> Very demeaning to your macho image. I felt like a man who just had a vasectomy. <laughs> I would have liked somebody to say, Onslow, do you fancy Roundhead or do you fancy Cavalier? Cavalier. You'd make a great Cavalier. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I only want one. I wish you'd find yourself a nice, steady bloke. Give your hormones a chance to settle. You will be careful being a roundhead and everything. I was with a couple of the lads. Till what time? I don't know. We got talking. You know what it's like when you get with the lads? I know what it's like when you get with the lads. You become a menace to the female sex. <laughs> there was a time when we used to sit on the settee together and you used to nibble my ear. Now all you ever nibble is crisps. Weren't too many flavours in those days. <laughs> you used to look lovely with a pram. The baby's little feet resting on your beer bottles. Why are you stop you're all soft and dreamy. You're always going all soft and dreamy. How much have you lost? I hate the way you say that. I'm struggling here trying to earn a decent living for you and your father. <laughs> somebody turn the set off. Rose turned the set off. Thank God for that. I thought I'd gone blind. <laughs> I'm glad you're normal. Never mind normal. Try desirable. <laughs> Told you, I've got a headache. You're just an old, cuddly softy. Oh, keep your voice down. We don't want everyone to know. <laughs> I think you're magic, Onzo. When you get me that beer, we'll drink to that. <laughs> Did you bring any beer? No, I didn't. I'm sitting here completely surrounded by no beer. <laughs> He's always had this massive appeal for women. He exudes a raw, sensual magnetism. <laughs> I admit I used to be a bit of a menace with the female sex. I was dynamite. <laughs> to me, the Karma Sutra was an owner's manual. If you weren't bone idle, I bet you could have really made something of yourself. Well, yeah, if I hadn't decided to be bone idle. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't lie there looking criminally attractive when I'm reading a passion <laughs> Right, well, I can't stay here all day. 
They don't last long with your rose. <laughs> Just make sure she doesn't finish with him till after we've all had a drink. <laughs> Listen, Daisy, when I promised to love, honour and obey, I didn't necessarily mean every Tuesday. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I like looking at you. I like sitting here and thinking, it's all mine! It's all mine! How many of those have you had? <laughs> it's my first... Well, don't have any more. Why don't you go? I'm busy keeping the bed warm for you. Would you put that on room 210? Very good, madam. Uh, what's these? Just a few biscuits, sir. I've got a long drive. What about a bacon butty? Breakfast time, oh mighty husband. <laughs> I like to keep an eye on the economy. A bloke in my position has to wonder how long the country can afford him. <laughs> he can't be the breadwinner around here and poetic as well. <laughs> if it wasn't for your handicap, you'd have gone far. <laughs> what handicap? Bone idleness. <laughs> there was a time when you used to chase me all over the house. That was before we got colour, wasn't it? <laughs>